This ranking is based on the play score, a standard rating that averages gamer reviews and critic reviews. Opening our list of the top 25 PlayStation 4 single player games is Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin. When it comes to the hardcore gamers, From Software's third person action RPG takes you to a grotesque universe filled with ugly beasts and unforgiving difficulty spikes. But this isn't just your ordinary Dark Souls 2 game. It's the enhanced 64-bit version that offers high-quality textures and added features. With this version, changes are all over the game. Safe zones are no longer safe, enemy placement has been reshuffled, and a new NPC invader will change the way you play. It's a massive shift to the things we know about the original version, and boy, it's brutal. But just like any other Souls game, hard work really pays off, and once you kill that annoying boss, the emotional reward pays off. It receives a play score of 8.92. Number 24 is Neo. If there's another game trying to be on par with the Soul series, it's the Japanese adventure of a Western warrior. Embark on a dark fantasy trip to the land of the rising sun in a quest for vengeance. Step into the sandals of William Adams as he fights demented, mythical creatures of Japan. Just like its inspiration, it's a third-person action RPG with a focus of dodging and careful timing. Since it's a samurai game, stances are important. To eliminate the vile horrors of Japan, use the correct stances to deal out immense damage. Its story may be a subject for criticism, but it was lauded for its atmospheric take on a horrific Sengoku-era Japan. It receives a play score of 8.92. Number 23 is Divinity Original Sin Enhanced Edition. When it comes to the ideal CRPGs, it has to be Larian Studios' game. Create your own story as you set forth in a land of peril and magic. This enhanced edition offers refined visuals, a whole new storyline, and more content for the would-be adventurers seeking for a classic challenge. How would you manage your character in terms of stat and skill building? There's so many things to consider in the land of divinity and so many things to do. Even the NPCs are fully voiced. The depth of its RPG system makes it one of the best single player games ever made, and it has a play score of 8.94. Number 22 is Dishonored 2. After the fateful events of the first game, return to the murderous shoes of Corvo Atano as he finds himself under a new threat. For the first time in the series, his daughter Emily also takes the limelight. After being usurped by an otherworldly threat, join the two assassins in a quest for vengeance, be it by blood or by manipulation. Just like the previous game, players get to choose their own approach to its first-person stealth gameplay. Do you want to kill the target or do you want to spare him? Are you going to go for a speedrun where you don't get to kill anyone? Your choice. Its open-ended stealth elements make the original so appealing to hardcore FPS fans, and this sequel doesn't disappoint. It has a play score of 8.95. Number 21 is Night in the Woods. Powered by a fantastic narrative and deep exploration, this indie game from Alec Haloka takes you to an existential journey of self-discovery and maturity. Follow Mei as she drops out of high school and returns to her hometown to find a change in atmosphere. In side-scrolling fashion, hang out with her friends, her boyfriend, or family. Learn about the mysteries of this newfound change and dive into its fantastic writing, coupled with a beautiful soundtrack. How you choose to end the game is all up to you. This receives a play score of 8.95. Number 20 is Ratchet & Clank. Sony Entertainment's iconic duo takes you to a reimagined take on the classic action puzzler. Follow Ratchet, a lombax with a knack for machinery and adventure. Join him as he goes with his sidekick, Clank, a robot designed to help Ratchet solve puzzles and get into tight places. Together, they team up to take down enemies and roam around its futuristic world with style. Praised for its brilliant puzzle design and cool weapon variations, watch Ratchet and Clank use creative gameplay elements to solve puzzles and complete tasks. Aside from that, it's also a direct tie-in to their animated film. It didn't get much praise compared to the actual game, but it adds more information to the game's main story. It has a play score of 8.96. Number 19 is Guilty Gear Exard Revelator. Although it's a fighting game, Guilty Gear's single player experience is an integral factor to the game's story mode. Arc System Works returns with their master crafted, cell shaded 3D visuals and fluid animations. Revelator adds new faces such as Johnny, Jacko, Guilty Gear's version of D.Va, Kum Hye Hyun, and more. Aside from that, it's totally noob friendly. With an expansive tutorial system and the introduction of stylish mode, new players can feel every whirlwind of slashes in every direction hitting combos after combos with ease. Since 1998, this fighting game series has stood the test of time. It has a play score of 8.98. Number 18 is Shovel Knight. When it comes to side-scrolling platforming adventures, it's Yacht Club's adorable indie game. 
Follow the adventures of a brave knight as he musters his strength to save the love of his life from an enchantress. Inside the castle, dig your way through numerous obstacles and horrendous enemies, all in classic 8-bit fashion. It was praised for its memorable characters, excellent gameplay, and a sweet kick for nostalgia fans. Spectre of Torment and Plague of Shadow boasts hours and hours of platforming adventures for the fans of the game. It receives a play score of 8.99. Number 17 is the Talos Principle. Devolver Digital is known for their games with a totally absurd premise. From psychedelic murder to badass military men. This time, embrace the machinations of philosophical science fiction. Waking up in an island filled with ancient ruins and technological advancements, make your way through various places by solving the game's complex puzzles. As you make its way to its non-linear story segments and stunning ruins, you ask yourself questions about the meaning of life. Why are you here? What is my purpose? Apparently, solving the game's over 100 puzzles should do the trick. It has a play score of 9.03. Number 16 is Batman Arkham Knight. It may have suffered a brutal release on the PC, but PlayStation 4's Arkham Knight wows the hardcore Batman aficionados. This marks Rocksteady's explosive finale to the Arkham Trilogy, ending the Cape Crusader's crime-busting escapades. It's not the final game if not for its huge open-world environment, more villains, sweet new combat mechanics, and not to mention the Batmobile. For the first time in the series, experience Batman like never before. Drive around the streets of occupied Gotham and defeat the Arkham Knight with your trusty car. And of course everything else. It has a play score of 9.03. Number 15 is Final Fantasy XII The Zodiac Age. Square Enix's latest entry to the gaming industry isn't a new Final Fantasy title. Instead, it's a remaster of the PlayStation 2 hit. It's not a simple remaster though, it's a massive rework of the same game that's loved by many. Get caught with Vaughn and his group of friends as they get caught in a political power play in their kingdom. The Zodiac Age enhances every major concern from its original. From the UI, bugs, textures, and most importantly, the gameplay. Named Zodiac Age for its international Zodiac system, a revamped combat system compared to the original's abysmal controls. Since its first release on 2006, Final Fantasy XII The Zodiac Age still captures the magic of the original. It has a play score of 9.08. Number 14 is Odin's Sphere, Lift the Seer. A remake of the classic PlayStation 2 game filled with Norse lore, magic, and a beautiful gorgeous art style. It's a perfect remake considering it actually fixes some of the original's problems. From the side-scrolling gameplay to the user interface. What makes this game even more appealing is the multiple perspectives. Play different characters with their own stories to tell. At the end of their chapters, the stories weave together into a unifying ending. It's one of the better remakes on the PlayStation systems, and it recently won our award for being the best PS Vita game of 2016. It receives a play score of 9.08. Number 13 is Fallout 4. War never changes. This fourth main entry from Bethesda's critically acclaimed Fallout series changed a lot from the past few years. Travel to a radioactive Boston to find your missing son after a catastrophic nuclear explosion. Step outside the vault and explore a vast wasteland filled with irradiated shenanigans. Travel to decaying fields, ghoul-infested cities, and abandoned laboratories to meet friends, enemies, or friends disguised as enemies, or Todd Howard. Perhaps the biggest addition to this game is its base building. You can create settlements for your newfound friends and let them create a community to produce resources. Aside from that, its first-person shooting elements are improved. It puts so much focus on the action instead of strategically killing enemies using the VAT system. It has a play score of 9.11. Number 12 is Horizon Zero Dawn. A beautiful mix of past meets future, step inside a fallen civilization where mechanical dinosaurs roam the earth. Follow Aloy in her quest to save her tribe from a growing threat. Use her makeshift weapons to take down hostile robotic monsters. Combat is essentially fluid. Players can approach enemies in multiple ways with the help of Aloy's flexibility when it comes to survival. Study the mechanical creatures in their varied behaviors to adapt and benefit from the game's futuristic ecosystem. It is loved by many for its open world design and the amount of content it offers. Even the game's main character, Aloy, is lovable. Aside from that, the game excels at both combat and exploration. It receives a play score of 9.13. Number 11 is Diablo 3 Ultimate Evil Edition. The definitive Diablo game to date. If anyone wants to get a taste of the ultimate Diablo experience, then this is what they're looking for. Packed with smooth 1080p resolution and 60 frames per second, and with the Reaper of Souls expansion, it's something Blizzard fans would want on their PlayStation 4. 
take a break from the other Blizzard games for a moment, and jump into the dark dungeons to loot rare items, slay evil demons, and survive a dastardly difficult roguelike experience. Forget the game's early reactions and witness this polished and uncompromised version of Diablo 3. It has a play score of 9.15. Number 10 is Nier Automata. Skimpy Lolita dress and adorable face aside, this action RPG from the mind of Yoko Taro takes you to the universe of Square's Dragon Guard series. Follow 2B and 9S, two androids designed to protect mankind from the perils that haunt the now desolate Earth. Its lightning fast hack and slash gameplay oozes with style and mechanical mayhem. Unlock the mysteries of the game by completing its 23 different endings. It's filled with easter eggs, humor, and it gets from 0 to 100 during most cases. It's a fantastic game with a play score of 9.17. Number 9 is Dark Souls 3. This third and final installment of the Souls franchise is the perfect send-off for the series. Scholar of the First Sin was the proving ground for the future of From Software's games, and with this installment, it sets the bar high with its fast-paced combat and improved visuals. Get ready for more unmitigated chaos, huge bosses, and a somewhat unfair balance of game design. Ending the series as we know it, uncover the deeper meaning of its lore with the enemies you've slain and the places you've got into. It receives a play score of 9.18. Number 8 is Bloodborne. If the Soul series was hard enough, then From Software's PlayStation 4 exclusive says one big fuck you to your face. Just like any of their games, it's set in a gothic world filled with ugly beasts and hauntingly beautiful backdrops. Play as the hunter as you explore its desolate world plagued by mysterious disease. Your goal is to find its source. There's not much difference compared to the Soul series except for the storyline. Players use various weapons to survive its unyielding difficulty spikes and take refuge in various safe zones spread across the land. But it's not to say it's a bad game due to its similarities. It still packs a punch for challenge-seeking adventurers who want to pull their hair out of frustration. It receives a play score of 9.20. Number 7 is The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. CD Projekt Red's multi-awarded RPG breaks records after records with Geralt of Rivia's story. With a Netflix show on its way, there's no stopping Geralt's gigolo train. The third main installment of the series, follow him as he finds the missing child of prophecy in a land torn apart by war. Universally acclaimed, it was hailed as one of the best RPGs of all time due to its consistent story, stunning visuals, and a remarkable cast of characters. It's what Lord of the Rings would look like if it was made into a massive open world game. It receives a play score of 9.29. Number 6 is Journey. When it comes to Sony, that game company's mesmerizing indie adventure isn't getting away in our list anytime soon, proving that the journey is always important rather than the destination. Control a robe figure roaming around a vast desert. Your main goal is to get to that tall mountain on the horizon. Its single-player experience oozes with simplicity and beauty. Players can even encounter another player during your adventure, but the catch is you don't get to talk. Using only musical chimes, work together to access difficult locations. Powered by a fantastic soundtrack, Journey is a peaceful game filled to cleanse our minds from the worries of real life. It receives a play score of 9.30. Number 5 is Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain. Konami, mate rest in peace, has come a long way. From pachinko to consoles, then back to pachinko, it has been through a lot. Despite all that, it gave us one fantastic game before they inevitably committed seppuku on themselves. Hideo Kojima's latest and final Metal Gear Solid game takes you to the story of Venom Snake, a vengeful man sworn to take down those who have wronged him. Experience Metal Gear like never before due to its huge emergent open world mechanic and detailed tactical espionage action. It's so open-ended you feel like finishing a mission with your cute anime stealth box. It receives a play score of 9.31. Number 4 is Grand Theft Auto 5. Rockstar isn't backing down when it comes to their award-winning series. Still a staple for their open world splendor, follow three different characters and uncover their personal adventures through heists and reckless driving. Return to the hustle and bustle of Los Santos and remove any social inhibitions you have. With stunning visuals, tons of missions, and dialogue so R-rated, you feel like your parents will kill you for it. It seems like we might have to wait for a few more years before GTA 6 gets announced. For now, let's stick on what we have, now that modding has returned. It has a play score of 9.33. Number 3 is Persona 5. Wake up, get up, get out there. Atlas' latest Persona game makes us love Japanese culture even more. This fifth major entry to the series proves that newer is always better. 
Strictly single player, step into the life and times of the Phantom Thieves as they steal the hearts and reshape society. With this iconic turn-based combat, sweet jazzy soundtrack, beautiful waifus, memorable characters, and persona collecting, there's absolutely hundreds of reasons to enjoy this game. Just recently, and we did see it coming, its latest rhythm spin-off releases sometime this June 2018. Persona 5 is truly a one-of-a-kind JRPG, and it receives a play score of 9.37. Number 2 is The Last of Us Remastered PlayStation 4 is the home for memorable single-player adventures. This game shaped PlayStation 3's future with its iconic characters and heartbreaking story. Follow the lives of Joel and Ellie, two inseparable human beings caught in the middle of a viral outbreak. With Naughty Dog's signature third-person action, survive the virulent threat by shooting these creatures in the face and solve puzzles. But the clickers aren't the game's main concern. Humans are also a problem. It's a test of survival and the game isn't running out of emotional moments. We don't need to say much. Play it! It receives a play score of 9.38. And the best single player game on the PlayStation 4 is none other than Uncharted 4 A Thief's End. When it comes to the best single player experience, it's gotta be Naughty Dog's final adventure of Nathan Drake. After the previous game's success, our boy Nathan enters the retirement life and hands the lure of adventure to God knows who. In this jam packed game, Join him and his friends as they embark on a globe-trotting adventure to find a lost city of pirate treasure. But the task isn't always easy. Pave way through muddy terrain, rocky crevices, and icy glaciers just to find the next step of the puzzle. It's a race against time and your enemies are always one step ahead. Enjoy its rich third-person shooting action with a mix of clever puzzle mechanics. It's not an Uncharted game without a bit of both. It has a play score of 9.49.